Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Advent of Bacasso Leverance Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, I would like to uh, remind you all to read your Bible and apply His words every day. As the days are getting darker, it means Jesus Christ is coming very soon. So, just prepare yourself that he will come like a thief in the night. Okay, guys, so that's only an encouragement. But if you don't want to, you don't have to read your Bible. But without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. That's not in purgatory but in hell and also i have a lot of god's words that i've been posting only on my facebook page if you want to be ministered to but if you don't want to you don't have to go to my facebook page but if you do you want to my facebook page is www.facebook.com adrenaldi so guys i have a, a word for you guys that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. This is God's word, letter D, a uh, letter D. Again, God's word, letter D. The Holy Spirit spoke to me last January 14, 2023. The title of this message is Let Go of the Pains and Be Willing to Embrace the New, Better Version of Yourself. The word says, I used to put a great high, high wall. Again, I used to put a great high wall over me from any friends or loved ones whom I thought had the potential to hurt me. Thank God Jesus for his healing power. For those of you who are in this situation, I totally understand where you came from. The healing process will take time, but you will not get healed if you will not allow Jesus Christ to heal you. You must yield to all his ways. Try to let go of the pains and be willing to embrace the new better version of yourself. Once he knew that you are totally healed, he will put you on a new unknown journey. You will meet new people or old friends you knew whom he will use to help you reach your journey. We, as his creations, don't have to understand all his ways. But we must always trust Him completely. Once you will do that, again, once you will do that, you will be grateful in the end that you have been patient with Him and be grateful that you obey Him. The waiting time for the Lord is the hardest part, but He is a promise keeper. God is not a man that he should lie. That is in the book of Numbers 20, verse 20, uh, chapter 23, verse 19. He fulfills the desire of your heart. As long as these desires will not harm your soul. Sometimes he will make a destruction through people or circumstances of your plans is just a way of saying that you need to change directions or ideas jobs but of course you must ask God's guidance this is also another way of saying to you that he is protecting you from your wrong plans or decision he will use messages from other people as our information to do or not to do the action. He will be the one to help you connect the dots where you are supposed to go. Again, and again, sorry. 
He will be the one to help you connect the dots where you are supposed to go. If you choose not to let go of his hands, he will take you to your great destination destination that he has already prepared for you. Don't let go and keep believing that he will fulfill his dream that he puts in your heart. That's the word, guys. If you have now received Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You may gonna die today or tomorrow without Jesus Christ. You will go to hell, not purgatory, but in hell. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, and then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. You can pray along with a simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer or you pray your own simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and invitation. So you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.